everyone. My name is Tianlein and today we talk about the upcoming Guilds and Glory celebration event for the Adder Squads Online. As always, you find timestamps in the video description and also a guide on my website. The Guilds and Glory celebration event is a remembrance of ESO content of the Guilds and Glory DLC pack. During this event you can earn unique rewards by participating in various activities in Ocenium, Imperial City, Dark Brotherhood and the Thief Skill DLC, as well as from the Imperial City Prison Dungeon, White Gold Tower Dungeon and the Maestro Marina. The Guilds and Glory Celebration event is for the first time hosted in January 2024. It will be active from January 18th until January 30th. To be able to participate you need to own the Ocenium, Imperial City, Dark Brotherhood and the Thief Skill DLC. If you have an active ESO Plus subscription, you can access all event related zones. Don't forget that you can claim for free the Imperial City DLC via the Crown Store. To start the event you can directly travel to Ocenium, Imperial City, Dark Brotherhood and the Thief Skill DLC. Or you can start the event tutorial quest for free from the Crown Store. During the event you can earn double rewards in Rothgar, Imperial City, Gold Coast and Hugh Spain from following activities. For defeating world boss and death boss enemies. For completing daily video requests in Rothgar, Imperial City, Gold Coast and Hugh Spain. For defeating bosses within the Maestro Marina. For defeating bosses within the Imperial City Prison and White Gold Tower Dungeons. For defeating bosses within the Morflok High Trial. And double yield from harvesting nodes in Vosca, Imperial City, Gold Coast and New Spain. During the Guilds and Glory Celebration event, you can earn Glorious Coffers and regular Reward Coffers. Completing your first daily Peter request in Vosca, Gold Coast and New Spain will award a Glorious Coffer. And you can earn a separate Beastball Glorious Coffer once per day by defeating the final boss of the Imperial City Prison Dungeon, White Gold Tower Dungeon or the Maestro Marina. Of course you can also earn more reward coffers if you want to complete the dungeons or arena multiple times. Note if you defeat the final dungeon boss on veteran difficulty you will get two reward coffers. If one of these would be eligible for a glorious coffer you will get one glorious coffer and one regular coffer. Furthermore you can obtain a third glorious coffer once per day by completing an Imperial City daily build request or defeat bosses in Imperial City or Imperial City sewers. That means we can earn 3 glorious coffers per day per account. Additionally you can find sometimes regular coffers by completing more daily build requests and participating in activities within Ocenium, Imperial City, Gold Coast and Hugh Spain. Other activities are for example killing Delve, World, Public Dungeon Bosses, Random Enemies, Treasure Chests and Safe Boxes, Resource Nodes, Thief Stoves or by pickpocketing NPCs. Please note that regular reward coffers have a reduced chance of providing special rewards. You have a chance to find inside glorious coffers and reward coffers, crafting materials, set and style items from overland zones, set and style items from dungeons, treasure maps or survey reports, furnishing recipes, available treasures, companion gear, crystal bag hunter style pages, style pages from Vosca, Imperial City, Gold Coast and New Spain, you can find following styles in the Guilds and Glory reward coffers. Assassin's League, Mino Tower, Dark Brotherhood or Order of the Hour styles from reward coffers obtained in the Gold Coast. Outlaw, Thieves Guild or Our Watch style pages from reward coffers obtained in New Spain. Ancient Orc, Malakath or Trinimark style pages are found in reward coffers from Rothgar. Sifkin, Altmeri Dominion, Dagger for Covenant, or even hard packed style pages are obtained from reward coffers dropped in Imperial City. All reward coffers have a small chance to include the Pistol Bag Hunter style page. You can find in depth showcase videos of all styles on my YouTube channel. Now we will talk about the daily build requests in Arsenium DLC. In Vosca you can find Delph and Cooper's daily build requests. Guru Zuk and Morcus Stronghold will offer you one of six Delph daily build requests. Arzorak and Scala's Hostel will offer you one of six group boss daily build requests. 
you can pick up only one delve and one group was daily per day per character. But it is possible to complete all six delve dailies and all six group boss dailies if you group up with other players and ask them to share the quest. Next I will explain where you can find a daily Pluto quest in Dark Brotherhood DLC. Speaker Terinus in the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary will offer you the Dark Brotherhood Sacrament quest, which sends you in the instanced area to assassinate specific targets. Follow the Dark Brotherhood quest line to unlock the Dark Brotherhood Sacrament quest. Dark Brotherhood Sacrament quest can be obtained once per day and cannot be shared with others. You can also find Delph and World Boss daily Pluto quest at the Gold Coast. At the Bounty Board in Kavach, you can pick up World Boss daily Pluto quest. And at the Bounty Board in Anvil, you can pick up Delph daily Pluto quest. You can pick up only one Delph and one Group Boss daily per character per day. But it is possible to complete all Delph dailies and all Group Boss dailies if you group up with other players and ask them to share the quest. Now we will talk about the daily Pluto quest in the Thief Skill DLC. At the highest board in the Thief's Den, you can pick up highest daily Pluto quests which send you an instance area to obtain stolen goods. These quests can be obtained once per day. You may group with other players to obtain the other four heist quests. Heist quests can be completed alone or in a group. Note that you need to complete Partners in Crime, Cleaning House, The Long Game and Master of Heist Quests of the Thief Skill Storyline to unlock the heist dailies. Furthermore, you need to have a rank 3 within the Thief Skill. At the Reacquisition Board in the Thief's Den, you can pick up Delph Daily Pitable Quests. You can only pick one daily quest per day, but you may group with other players to obtain the other three daily Pitable Quests. Note that you need to complete a Partners in Crime Thief Skill Story Quest and speak to Spencer Rai to unlock the Delph Daily Pitable Quest. You can also complete one weekly trial repeatable quest in the Thief's Skill DLC. Adara High offers you the quest Into the Maw for the Morvlock High Trial. When you enter the trial, you will find a weekly quest giver at the entrance area. In the Imperial City, you can complete up to 6 Imperial City daily repeatable district quests. In your Alliance space, you can find a room with many ladders. Climb up each ladder to find daily quest giver for the specific Imperial City district. You can complete the Dowsing the Fires of Industry quest in the Elven Garden district, the Historical Accuracy quest in the Arboretum district, the Lifeblood of the Empire quest in the Arena district, the Priceless Treasure quest in the Temple district, the Speaking for the Dead quest in the Memorial district, and the Watch Your Step quest in the Noble district. During the Guilds and Glory celebration event, you can earn two event tickets per day per account from following activities. Completing your first daily delve or world boss repeatable quest in Vosgar, Imperial City, Gold Coast and New Spain. Killing and looting the final boss of the White Goat Tower or Imperial City Prison Dungeon. Killing and looting the final boss of the Maestro Marina. Defeating and looting patrolling horrors in Imperial City or called Harbor Elite Guards in Imperial City Sewers. Or completing the weekly repeatable tri quest for the Morph Lokai Trial. Which means this time you can choose which activity you like the most to obtain your event tickets each day. As always, the Impresario Event Merchant will open a shop during the Guilds and Glory Celebration event. This year she is offering the Molag Ball Illusion in Pet Fragments, the first fragment for the Plain Mail's Master Markings, Crystal Hunter Style Pages and more. The Intrigue Vendor will also open a shop during the event. She offers during the first quarter of 2024 Nesson Intrigue Feathers, Dawnwood Intrigue Berries and Spectral Intrigue Berries. You can also purchase the Springtide Intrigue Pet and the Haunting Intrigue Pet. Videos to me, the Impresario's assistant, will also open his shop during the event. He offers during the first quarter of 2024 Unstable Morphlet Pet Fragments and Doom Chaplet Ho House Fragments. A huge thanks to all supporters on Kofi as well as those who are members on YouTube and Twitch. Thanks for watching and it would be fantastic if you could subscribe, give me thumbs up or leave a comment. Have a pleasant day and I will see you next time. Toodles!